So there are fewer things better than a summer day and a slice of pie. Really not much. And by pie, I mean pizza. You want a pizza this? Yes. <laughs> We're talking about pizza pie, that's right. And people in New York and mm -hmm. New Jersey know exactly what pizza is. Needs Connecticut as well, some might argue. We yeah, love the New, New Haven, Haven slice. Yeah. Uh, we're joined by one of the best of the best to show us how to toss the perfect pizza dough because it really is an art Hello. and a skill. So please welcome the King of Pies, award winning world pizza champion, Mr. Nino Coniglio. How you girls going tonight? How you doing? Let's go. Okay. <laughs> All right. Straight from Gravesend. Straight out of Gravesend. Yeah. Straight out of Gravesend. Now you're world famous. That's it. That's it. That's how we do it. You were doing this like you're breathing. Like yeah, nothing. you know, Hold I up. uh, what's up? What is got this? started when I was a kid? This is called a throw dough. This is what we practice with to do uh, pizza tossing competitions. Did you come out of the pizza womb doing pizza? I mean, I didn't come out of the womb, but my father was taking me to pizzerias since I was like a little baby. And back then, you used to like see a lot more guys tossing the pizza. Yeah, you don't see people you tossing don't, pizza. They don't it's make them thing. like this anymore. Okay, so then, yeah. Okay, so. Ye your father was taking you around when you were a wee lad. Yeah. He is he who got you into the, the whole pizza game? So he had a couple friends who made pizza, and I would see them, like, tossing the dough and everything. And then, you know, after messing up real bad in school, you know, mm -hmm. I kind of started hanging out with the pizza guys and uh, got pretty good at it. Is this um, a movie or is this his real life? Yeah, I right? feel like we're in a movie. <laughs> we're in the movie this is like Nino Coniglio. A-plus name, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> um, so... The pro for me, I think the, a slice of pizza is the pie, is the crust. I oh, know of course. different people have different ideas. No, what do you, no, that, that's pretty much the start of it. You don't think it. it's the sauce? You don't think it's the sauce? No, it's the, it's, the, it's the dough, it's the crust, and it's, it's the water. The water, no. The water is a mess. If you got it's really bad water, you just uh, you uh, filter it, and that's it. That's, that's all it. you got to huh. do. Okay, so you say when it comes to good pizza, the proof is in the pie. Yeah. How so? What do you so, mean by that? So. You know, having a well fermented dough, um, we using use unbleached, unbromated thing. flowers. Can we so you yeah. Can see it? So, and then, uh, you know, sourcing just great tomatoes. Italian food is a very simple thing. So, just high grade ingredients, <sighs> make you, we just put salt, a little bit of coffee, garlic, and that's, and that's it. it. And then we source Where great Where are you getting cheese. the tomatoes from? Your uh, so, we get them from Chow Where Tomatoes. Uh, they're a company out of uh, Campania, which is a region where Napoli is, where pizza yep. was born. And, uh, yeah, they're all grown in Campania. They're packed in Campania. What is happening here? This looks like science. Yeah. I love it. So, it is science. Yeah, this is 70% uh, hydration. We use uh, unbleached, unbromated Caputo flour, single zero flour. And uh, this particular dough has a 72-hour cold fermentation and a 12-hour warm fermentation on it. You said you didn't do well in school, but you know science. This yeah, is science. I know a little bit about dough. Yeah. <laughs> I know a little bit about dough. Okay. okay, so you won for astounding dough throwing routines. Uh-huh. Okay, so before we get to toss the pizza, we gotta roll it? Yeah, so I'll give you a little example. Please. Let's oh, we're putting give it you... right in the flour? Yeah, we're gonna go right in the flour so it doesn't stick all over the place well, here. Yes, that would There's happen. gonna be your dough. Oh. oh, we each get a dough. We each oh, get boy. a dough. We each get a dough. I feel like I should wash my hands. What's your favorite so. topping on pizza? I really, I really my favorite topping? Yeah. I like just like trying like like a great cheese like margarita pizza. Margarita. Is what I, I love a margarita. What I'm into. A grandma, uh, if you will, as well. Grandma's a great like What's a yeah. Grandma? I'm more into styles. Grandma is a thin crust square. So it was mm, uh, it's an Italian American thing. Um and it was invented in like Italian neighborhoods because like my grandmother and her sister, they didn't even have driver's licenses. So they walked around anywhere. Yeah, all they did <laughs> was they they cooked for their children, that's what they lived for. So we were all like ninja turtle loving pizza freaks <laughs> when we were kids. But you couldn't take away Nona's job. So oh. they would go buy the dough from uh, you know, the local the pizzeria. Local area, yeah. And then they would stretch it in a pan because they had like little tiny apartment right. ovens. A little galley and then they kitchen, would yeah. Put the fresh mozzarella and the garlic and everybody and everybody's family had like a little bit of a different way, but it's okay. definitely an American born thing. All right. Okay. All right, there so we go. History we're lessons gonna today. press it out. <laughs> go ahead, get in there, get I'm in getting there. Getting in here. Okay. Move your move your move your boy. Oh jeez. Yeah. It's, it has a lot of air in it. Oh, yeah. Am I doing this air. right, Nino? Yes. Yeah. With the fingers and or with the, with the palms? Let's flip these over, and then we're going to try to, you want to try to toss it? What do you think? Oh, God. Do, do, do we right. think we should? All right. So should we use okay. the plastic one? Hold it up. No. Yeah, you could use the plastic one. 
So just toss it up like that. I don't know. I don't know how this. If I drop this on the floor, it's gonna be glass. What do I do? Well, she's already she's already got her fist in there. What it what goes up first? So just hold it like this, and I toss it right in the air. Wait, wait, wait. What? Are you like this? Oh, she got it. I caught it. I caught it. Wait, wait, wait. Your hand is like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put this hand under. Like little fingers. Just toss it like a basketball. There you go. <laughs> this came out. See, with the left. real stuff, it's a little, uh, it's a little different. No, we won't get to the finger spinning just yet. Yeah, okay, no. Let's show us, show so, us, show us. Uh, so, Monty, this is gonna help your basketball game. I, I hope so. <laughs> what in the? He is the dough tossing dough? champion. What in the fresh mozzarella is happening? <laughs> Do you practice this every day? I, I don't. I used to. I used to be a world champion for this, but then. Uh, I trained this kid, Scott Volpe, who... Not uh, Scott Volpe. Yeah, he, he no break idea. dances while doing it and everything. No. So, he break... Yeah. Okay. So That's then... Very... Okay, I'm very Stressful. proud of myself today. Okay, I messed this up. Okay, so we've so done So you want to see how to... How we see Should I try it with the real dough? Hold on. Do it, do yeah. it. See, Boom. now you're good. See? I'm opening a pizza shop. That's it, <laughs> that's it. in line. Yeah, do so... Ever, do you ever get tired of pizza? Uh, I don't think anybody can get tired of pizza, no, right? Pizza. Do you ever have pizza at home? Uh, of course, yeah. We have every pizza day. at home almost every day. Every, every day. day. Yeah. What is this? So my wife, this is uh, fresh yeah. mozzarella from Leone cheese. Which cheese? So I was going to say, please give me a little bite. Leone, they're like 13, uh, 13 oh, generation wow. pizza guys, mm. or uh, mm. mm. cheese makers, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're really, really amazing. They're in uh, Diker Heights in Brooklyn, and they got Shout a cheese factory. Shout out to Diker Heights. I worked That's in Heights for two seconds. Okay. Yeah, Sal Leone, you can't beat that yeah. guy. He's oh. the best guy. All right, and now you have sauce. So then you go sauce. Oh, I love this. How many this cheese pizzas is delicious. Make me stop. do you think you've made in your life? I, I think I counted one time yeah. and it was hundreds of thousands, yeah. but I don't know. It might be million. I mean, it's, it's 12 to 37, so 20, 27 years. And then maybe times like 75 a day. Because sometimes Louise. I do 300, sometimes I do less. So a lot. Oh safe to say. So. Uh, now you've been, you were featured on Pix 11 before. But this is oh, before yeah. you, um, when your restaurant was named Best Pizza in New Jersey for yep. the Pizza Bowl. That was at State. Red's. I was there. Yeah, so Coniglio's Old Fashioned. We just opened in Morristown, New Jersey. Woo! Uh, Shout out to Halloween. Morristown. Yeah. Look at you with and, your hat uh, as the Pizza King. We're mm. doing artisanal breads. We're doing uh, babalonis, babalonis, which are Italian donuts. Mm. Um, Wait, real quick before we go, pizzas. tell us about your podcast. The oh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, we have a podcast called The Pizza Podcast, where we have different <laughs> pizza makers from around the tri-state and the country mm. come on and just tell their stories. It's a long-form thing, mm -hmm. and uh, it's pretty amazing. We've got some pretty incredible stories from guys like uh, Andrew Bellucci mm -hmm. and uh, Al Santillo and... Uh, all the other dudes. Santilla. Yeah, um, Santilla's in New Jersey. Santilla's in Elizabeth. That's right.